Well, the Harigwala District Municipality Mayor Mluleke Ndobe is due to appear in the Umzumkulu Magistrates Court today. Ndobe was arrested along with four other suspects in connection with the murder of fellow ANC colleague Cindy Sumagaka. The arrests are a breakthrough in one of the most high-profile cases of political killings in KwaZulu-Natal. Our colleague Moloko Moloto has been tracking that story for us. He joins us now from Umzumkulu in KZN ahead of that court appearance. Moloko, good morning. And uh, just give us some idea. You were, you, you were telling us uh, in the headline about security outside court let's start there first uh, what, what 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 are the security measures uh, being taken there considering that this this is very volatile this entire situation when we talk about political killings in KZN that is very correct Yuveka I mean if you can see behind me there are a number of people who are lining up to go inside the court building but of course the police are here i have seen the members of the saps from the public order policing unit all the way from durban and of course some of the people who are here they are wearing t-shirts bearing the face of cindy sojethro magata who was gunned down in an ambush in july 2017 and we know that he actually died in september in hospital there were suspicions that actually before he died he had complained about stomach pains and there were suspicions that he had been poisoned because he was like a thorn in the flesh of many people in this rural town of uh, uh, Kaiseren, Uveka. All right, so let, let's talk about the arrest that happened at the weekend. And, and we know, yes, you know, they, 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 the, the case is still to begin with. We're yet to establish innocence or, or, or guilt here. But what were the relationships uh, uh, with uh, Cindy Sumagaka uh, and, and, and these people who've, who, who've been arrested, uh, and one of them high profile as well, in connection with his murder? Yes, let us trace the genesis of this matter, Yuveka. You'd remember that uh, actually here in uh, KwaZulu-Natal, they do have an agency called Amafa KwaZulu-Natal Heritage Resources Agency. Now, it's an agency of government. It's tasked with the, uh, taking care of the buildings that are over, older than 60 years. And uh, there's one uh, 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 memorial hall here which had to be revamped. And uh, the municipality, which uh, Cindy Somagata was a councillor, decided to uh, do that particular refurbishment. Now, a tender, uh, the phase one of that contract, uh, it was a feasibility study. A company called Loiso Consultants was awarded that contract to do phase one, and the amount of the contract was about 1.3 million rand. Now, Loiso, during phase one, contracted Buyeye Consultancy. Now, the phase one project was done. They had to start with project two. And now the municipality issued out a tender. But the very same company, Loiso Consultants, won that particular tender and it subcontracted Buye Consultancy, the same uh, subcontractor that uh, they had uh, during phase one. Now, there were complaints because uh, the second phase was about uh, 15 million rand. So some of the people, of course, were complaining in the media. So the public protector, Busisiwe Mkwebane, um, got hold of that information through the media and in the report that she issued in December she said that she initiated that investigation it wasn't like somebody complained and in her findings she found out that actually the municipality was unfair of, of, for awarding this contract to Loiso Consulting because Loiso had knowledge, finer details, because it was involved in the um, uh, uh, feasibility study. So she felt that it, wa it, wa it was supposed to be excluded. Now, we saw that Loiso, according to the public protector, it performed poorly, and as a result, the municipality had to terminate that contract. But the payments were made, Yuveka. Now, Loiso, according to the public Public protector recommended one company, Sfiso Consulting, which was also a subcontractor under Loiso. And that company did not even have a contract with the municipality, but it was paid over 10 million rand. And then the, 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 it was kicked out. Now the tender was advertised anew. And guess who got that tender, Uvega? It was Buya Consultancy, the same company that was involved initially as a subcontractor. And the total amount that 
that was paid. The municipality argues that it spent 24 million rand, but the public protector argues that the amount is up to 37 million rand. And the project was never completed. So Cindy Somagata was very vocal in the council, and this is an ANC-led municipality. Some people actually believed that he had adopted an opposition posture, and we saw he was then killed in 2017. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much. Uh, that's Moloko Moloto. He's uh, keeping an eye on that story for us. As you can see, uh, people already gathering, supporters already gathering there ahead of the court appearance uh, of the five suspects, including uh, the high-profile uh, municipality mayor, Mluleke Ndobi, the Haligwala district municip municipality mayor. We'll get updates there. Well